Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a tag video again. I just did one the other day but I have seen this going around and I thought it would be really fun to film. I haven't watched the actual videos because I wanted to do it myself before I got influenced by other people. I think most of us are doing it like that. This tag is called the eyeshadow palette tag. It is Created by Samantha March and Ali Glines. I don't know Ali, she's new to me, but I do follow Samantha and she is quite lovely and she has amazing content and videos on her channel. But I will link those down below, those two ladies, and then there will be 13 prompts to this tag, and each prompt should correspond to a palette and I have them here beside me. I'm excited to share with you guys a little bit more about my collection and what I think of them and stuff like that. So let's just go with the list I have here on my phone. The newest palette which is the first prompt it is from Blush Tribe and I bought this because they were going to close down um, and I think they are almost going <laughs> They are almost down now. They are going out of production. So I wanted a pastel palette and I actually bought the Tokyo palette from Nomad Cosmetics. But because of Corona and flying from the States and on to Europe, um, it has it is delayed obviously. But I did buy that and I have wrote to them and stuff like that. So they do know that I'm still interested in the palette and they should ship it when they can. Enough about the palette that I don't have yet. <laughs> so this is basically the newest palette to me because I bought it last but it's not the latest palette that I have gotten to me sent you know and I don't really have any pastels in my collection I have one here and there in, in palettes but I was really interested in let me cover that in pastel shades so I thought this was going to be an amazing opportunity to support the last bit of blush tribe that is left um, and yes the Tokyo palette is obviously also pastel shades but yes this is the palette and if you hold it right this is the color scheme I think it is beautiful and I'm really excited to try it more I have only swatched it once in a, in a video so I'm really excited to play with this soon and I really need to be better at that actually use the palettes when I get it in and not like two months after. The next prompt is my oldest palette and I did have two in mind um, and one of them I can do for another prompt <laughs> and I do believe I bought this before the other palette. This is my Too Fast Chocolate Bar. I bought this in 2004. 15. I don't think I have any palettes that is like from 2014. I have a single shadow and stuff like that. Um, but I don't have any actually eyeshadow palettes. And that surprised me a little bit. But at the same time it's it's a good thing. Because that is like 5 years now. <laughs> I've had it for 5 years. But this is my oldest palette. And I will show you the inside in the end of the video. Because that is the last prompt. But yes, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette is definitely my oldest palette and the one that I see myself use up first, basically. Most expensive palette. That could also be the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, but I do think like MDK and Too Faced is like borderline the same price. I don't know. Um, so I just chose an MDK palette, so the Too Faced Chocolate Bar is not going to be in like three prompts. I chose my MDK Vice 4 palette. I do believe this is more expensive than the Gwen Stefani palette that I also have. Um, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it's the same price range, I think. I absolutely love this palette. It is so beautiful, and I was really excited when I got it. It has some darker shades though, but the shades that it has, they are really, really beautiful. It is an older palette. It was limited edition and stuff like that. They don't do the Vice palettes anymore, but this packaging is just amazing. I love it so much. And yeah, I have two pans on it right now. And I did franking this shade a lot in my Panda palette. If you follow that, I love this palette. I need... I really want to pan that as well for a panda palette, but I don't think it's 
if it is too ambitious because it has some really dark shades in it. Yeah, I don't know. Fourth prompt, my most affordable palette. Um, and this was really hard because most of the palettes from W7 is really inexpensive and they're just really, really cheap. So I didn't know what to choose. So I chose for this prompt my W7 the Naughty Nudes Midsummer Nights eyeshadow palette. This is a dupe for the MAC Amber something nine pan palette. I don't remember the name though, but it is a dupe for that. And it is really, really good. I really love this palette. And I, yeah, these mauve tones is just amazing <laughs> and just perfect to do a smoky eye or a natural look or whatever you want to do. It could be any W7 palette because they are mostly in the same price range when I buy them and in the store that I buy them. So, <laughs> my everyday palette, this is the W7 Major Matte palette and it is the palette that I'm using every single day right now because I am panning it in my single ladies and my man matte and I do have one spoiler so I'm just going to cover that shade. It is an all matte palette and it is a dupe. Yeah, I hate saying that about W7, but it is just, it just is. Um, for a Too Faced palette, that is all matte, natural matte, it's called that. I don't know. Um, this is the one, it has a dark warm tone brown down here and then an orange down here. But I have some very nice progress on it, so I don't want to spoil anything for the update that is coming really soon. I use this every single day and I love it. I really do. It is really, really good. Even though it comes in a tin packaging and for the Dyson palettes, I don't like that. So that says a lot <laughs> about this palette. Yeah, I wish for them to stop duping and copying palettes because that is not nice. It's not good. The next prompt is my most colorful palette. And how can I do this prompt without talking about this? This shows up in like every single video where I need to show something. And showing my stash and everything like that. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and of course this is my most colorful palette because it is a rainbow palette and i don't have any others than this i do have a lot of palettes that is colorful and it could be the pastel palette for example or any other colorful palette from blush tribe basically because they don't have any neutral neut neutrals in it and um, but i'm just going to talk about this this formula is not amazing I will say that, but I did hit pan on two shades. Yeah, I do like it even though it's not the best quality, but it is drugstore and you can't always count on the pigmentation, I should say. But yeah, it is good value for your money. Let's end it there. Okay. My smallest palette is definitely going to be my NYX cord and they're called Full Throttle. Throttle? I don't know. This is called Color Riot. I have another one in Darming, Darning, Darming and a Darning Damsel or something like that. That is a more cool tone palette. So I just put this one. Um, but yes, it is a quad. I don't have any duos, trios or something like that. I only have quads. So I just chose this one. This formula from NYX though is amazing and it is so much better than the Bird's palette. So I don't know why they didn't do the same. But this is amazing. Let's just say it like that. They are. But I don't think they are making it anymore. And the packaging is really, really cool. It reminds me a little bit about Kat Von D when she was there. And her style with the studs and stuff like that. Yeah. My biggest palette. Um, I was really torn about my Zodiac palette and this palette. But this is the Morphe palette. 35OM. And I have... Another one. I do have the 35K palette as well as this one. So I chose this because it has the most shades. But the Zodiac palette is kind of bigger. Um, but it has the most shades. So that is just what I wanted to count it for. And I want to talk about the Zodiac in another prompt. This is the Morphe 35 OM palette. And I have hit pan on a lot of shades. It is really used and I love it so much. Um, but yes, this is definitely my biggest palette from Morphe because I don't have any other palettes with 35 shades in it. 
basically. The next prompt is the palette with the best memory and I do have quite a few because I have a few, or quite a few actually, that I have gotten from like my family and I have gotten some, a few from my best friend and I do have um, a lot of W7 palettes are from when I was an W7 W7 ambassador and that was a really really awesome time in my life when I was that for a few years but they're just not special enough because this has I don't know why I keep coming back to this and this story but I wore this last summer in 2019 and um, when we went to England for our summer vacation where I met Amanda and Erin and Claire and a few days after I saw those <laughs> amazing ladies John proposed to me on the beach in Brighton and I was wearing this palette and I was only wearing this palette for that week so I just when I wear this and see this palette I get I keep it keeps me reminded of when John proposed to me and yeah, I'm getting emotional, so let's just stop it here before the hormones hormones uh, breaks out. <laughs> but yes, this is the palette right here. It is absolutely stunning. I have it in a few products right now. It is the W7 Enchanted palette. I don't know if it is a dupe for anything, but I really, really enjoy this palette. It is absolutely stunning and it has some unique shades to my collection. Which is really awesome and the packaging is really really cool. I'm really excited that this was the palette that I brought with me to England because it just it makes it special and I have one pan in it so that is really nice. Okay yeah I think it's this is the next one. This is my BH Cosmetic Zodiac palette and this is for the palette with the hype. I would say the newer BH Cosmetics palettes are definitely worth the hype. They are amazing and creamy and pigmented and they are just really amazing quality shadows for a drugstore brand or indie brand. Is, is it an indie brand? Actually, I don't know. I think they're quite big so I don't want to say they're indie brand but I, you can't buy them in stores in Denmark at least. But yes, the Zodiac palettes are definitely worth the hype. I know they are big and somewhat bulky but these shimmers are absolutely stunning and foiled and everything that I want in a shimmer basically or metallic. It has a highlighter which is really really good. It is a little bit glittery though, I will say that but and the mattes, perfect. They are just amazing. The next prompt is a palette not worth the hype and I chose this one for sure. I was not in doubt at all. In like 2014-15, W7, W7 was really popular because they were not as big as they are now and they don't release as many palettes and stuff like that. So these were really hyped because they were dupes for the MDK Naked palettes and the Naked Basics. So they were really really hyped and really really popular. So I wanted to try them out. I didn't have, but I bought this in like 15 and they are not, they are not worth that hype. They were so hyped and everyone says it was amazing. It was really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. I just decluttered the Naked 2 dupe, like the bigger one. This is like the dupe for the basic version. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of pan. I have used up the two first shades right here because it was a pale shade and then a crazy setting shade whatever and these three I have departed and this is something I just don't care about um, but these are not very pigmented they are they don't blend really well and they are just muddy on your eyes basically they are not really good I definitely prefer other shadows from W7 the Enchanted palette or the uh, major mattes even in a tin packaging um, the Naughty 9 palettes they are really really nice but these these are not good <laughs> I was going to say something bad but they are not good we are ending on a good note <laughs> let's just say it like that favorite palette from a favorite brand 
this was this was hard because I really really like a lot of brands that I have in my collection at least but I was just like my favorite eyeshadow palettes and from the brand and that is BH Cosmetics for sure they are amazing I have two of the uh, festival palettes and then two of the zodiac palettes and that is not where I end I am going to buy more because they are that amazing my favorite palette from those three is definitely the weekend festival palette it is it was limited edition and that's just a shame because they are so amazing and the people that didn't get it in the first place I'm so bummed for you guys because this is amazing and it is really colorful but they have some neutral so you can do the pop of color if you want to and not and then an all neutral look I you can do so much with this palette and I love it and I love being creative with this palette and I have done a few palette bingos with it and I even did one with my best friend no I don't think she has this palette but she really liked it as well and let's just end it there before I ramble on too much about the palette <laughs> the last one is my most used palette and this is the Too Fast Chocolate Bar that I talked about in the beginning of the video and I did show you the inside because this is really amazing and I'm pretty proud of it. I did pan it for a whole year, but I have worked on it a little bit in 2019 and to, uh, this year. So I have some really nice progress on it and let me just show you guys. This is the state of my palette. I have two completely finished shadows. This um, champagne truffle. Yeah, champagne truffle broke on me, so I never used that up. But I did franken a shadow in this pan. These three shades together created this. Um, this half um, of candied violet I have in a franken shadow right now in my panda palette. I've used, I have hit pan on this one since the panda palette. This is definitely my most used palette. I don't have any other palettes with this much pan and this much finished in it. I have finished other palettes before this one. I'm just really really proud of this palette. I have pan in every single shade except Gilded Ganache because I don't like that shade. I don't care for it. Other than that I technically have pan in these four shades because I repressed them but yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I love this palette but I also want to finish more shades in this and that is a future goal of mine. Because it is getting old, as I have said in the beginning of the video. I brought it in 2015. Um, February of 2015, in my winter break. I went to the first Sephora um, I have ever been in. And I bought this palette. Because it was really hyped back then. It's not anymore though. It's really not. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a very long video. So I hope you had some snacks or a tea or coffee or something like that. My throat is hurting <laughs> i need a drink and i need to edit this video so i hope you guys enjoyed and you want to follow the creators of this tag please check them out if you haven't already and until my next video please subscribe and have a good one bye